Hello group, Jeff here. So I have my CGXL with the uh, deck uh, servo motor cover removed. There's four screws. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to set the backlash on the CGX or a CGXL. It's the same thing. CGXL is just a little bigger, bigger motors and bigger gears. Worms the same though. And the reason why you want to do this is that over time the backlash will loosen up and I have this thing slapped out pretty good. You can see that it's moving quite a bit. And I did this personally to show you how to, to, uh, to fix it. Now, I want to point out that uh, if you have just purchased a mount and your backlash is this bad, <laughs> if you try to do this, you'll, uh, you'll destroy your warranty. So you want to make sure that uh, your warranty is up, you're brave enough to do something like this, and uh, here we go. So uh, right now I have no slap in the in the whole housing, but I have slop in my backlash. And there's two, two Allen head screws. There's a two millimeter here and a three millimeter here. And the three millimeter changes the pitch of the whole assembly. And that's what gives, that's what tightens the backlash. The small screw changes or limits how much this whole assembly moves. And the reason why you want to limit the, how much that assembly moves is that if for some reason you've got uh, too much load on your system, it'll start jumping teeth. So you want, to, uh, you want to have just enough movement so that if a gear starts to uh, climb on the worm, it, the worm has enough room to move on the springs and not bind up. So here we go. What I'm going to do is uh, start loosening up. And as I loosen this up, I'm just jiggling back and forth. And it's already starting to get better. I'm probably going to have to go quite a ways because I, I really knocked it out. And you can see we're starting to pick up some movement up and down in the final adjustment. So, this is kind of hard to do with one hand. So I'm just gonna go, it's starting to tighten up. That is perfect. There is zero backlash in the system now. So I'm going to leave the big screw alone. And now what we'll see is we have way too much travel in the uh, whole assembly. And what we want to do is we want to limit this to maybe a couple millimeters at most. And how we do that is with the third screw or the, th the two millimeter. Allen head. Come on, baby. There it is. And we just want to watch the travel. As we're tightening the screw, we're, we're jiggling her up and, up and down. We're getting close. 
That's perfect. So now I have my two millimeters, maybe a little more. That's perfect. And if you do this enough times, you get a feel for what, what the mount likes. That's pretty good right there. So I've taken the slap out of the worm, and I've limited the travel that that whole assembly makes so that it can't jump teeth. And you don't want this too tight because if you, take, if you make it too tight, then this assembly can't move on the gear. So you want to give it at least a couple of millimeters. And that couple of millimeters is enough to cover any high spot in the, in the big gear. The worm is, is uh, kind of in a fixed position. It's the big gear that the worm is riding on that it needs to, to ride up and down on. So the first three millimeter screw changes the pitch of the worm onto the, the, the bigger gear. And then the smaller two millimeter screw gives you your final adjustment of uh, 1.5 to two millimeters of uh, total travel in the whole assembly. And now you're done. You, if, uh, what I do is every spring I'll clean off the old grease and re-grease the uh, gears, and then I'll set my backlash. And that, that particular, whether it's DEC or RA, that's done. I'll put the cover back on, then I'll, I'll do the next one. And then every spring I've got perfect backlash. It took uh, 10 or 15 minutes to do this. The one thing you want to be very careful of are the screws that are for the cover are very small. <laughs> very very small and you want to do this in on some surface that if you happen to drop one uh, you won't lose it because they'll go flying and if you have a screwdriver that's magnetic that's even better so if you have any questions you know where i live and uh hope this helps talk to you later see you in the group